you tonight. I want to set up my projects from the day before each time in my chair. Otherwise, I forget to show you. So, that is our little finished. And I still didn't put a um, bow on it just because all of my Christmas bows and such are not handy. <laughs> so, uh, therefore, I couldn't see them. So, uh, that's why I thought I better just show them to you each time. So, okay. Let's see. Hope you're all doing well tonight. And I hope your day is going good. So, tonight. So, this was our finished one uh, from a couple nights ago. And the... Uh, I just think it turned out so cute. And I ended up deciding to turn the tree sideways. And... <laughs> I um, I didn't decide on that until the last, <laughs> until I was about to glue it down, and I was like, you know, that would be more fun and whimsical that way. So I love how this turned out, and so I have put some kits in our Let's Create group, um, so that uh, let me see if I can see your comments, see if they're on or off. I'm I every time I struggle with this, I can't understand which way it goes <laughs> hey Debbie and hello to everybody else who's on tonight okay so that was our last project uh, let me see if you can see okay with the light so <sighs> today so a few weeks ago we did um, some projects with um, some smaller breadboard, cheese board, deco decorative type boards. But today I was walking past and I had forgotten that I had done this board, which is much bigger than those. And so, hi Donna and Sandy. Uh, so I walked past where some of my stuff is cut out and I was like, oh, I think that apple pie one would be good on there. And so, we're going to do this one tonight, and I think that is super cute. Of course, y'all always, I always say they're super cute, but they are, and the, the fonts, everything. So, we're going to actually do this one just pretty much like the transfer is. A lot of times, you know, I change, I do different things, but tonight, we are going to just pretty much stick with the game plan. So, this is a brand new transfer, so let me grab... Uh, fuzzing cloth over here so this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one too and I've got out some different paste there so I'm thinking about this is kind of my color scheme let's see yeah you can see it in the in the thing so there's for the top of the pie I haven't decided on this um, I think it's colonial blue yes or this um, green because this green is kind of like my favorite um like pyrex color and old old dish color but i also have some this color so i love the colored pyrex dishes so um hi kathy and kathy oh good your fall picture came yesterday oh you're welcome thank you for sharing my post uh it was my pleasure to send that hi Vian. so yeah you'll have to You'll have to post a picture on here sometime of where you end up putting it. I'm ready for fall everywhere. I'm ready for Christmas everywhere. And so tonight I decided, <laughs> as I randomly walked past this design, that this was going to be it. So, uh, okay. So let's get going. So one of the things, I want to add some little details to this. Um... And you guys know how I love to cut out some different things. So, we're going to, like we did with the, um, I just think it adds a lot to add the little touches like this. So, like we did with the little ornaments, uh, I want to add, I'm either going to add this little mason jar, which I painted one black. 
and I painted one the same color that kind of um let's see what color did I use it's this color what color is this color I wish that one I couldn't think of the other day is like sheepskin yes that's it uh, so it's kind of like an antique white um, so I painted let me put the new, natural one down so I'm gonna decide as we get closer this one right now looks is just too much the same so I'm thinking the black one but I almost kind of think as you'll go along you'll see but I'm kind of thinking I want to paint so let's do that one right quick because I want to have the option of a brown one um, because I've got a couple of ideas with those and I've also cut out I have to show you because they are so stinking cute look at this little breadboard and these will be in the DIY shop that I use uh, on Etsy too so is that not the cutest so I don't know if we're gonna use that on there or if we're gonna use um, this little mini mason jar but we're gonna paint both of these real quick so we have that option because uh, I'm gonna add a little this is gonna have a little bit of brown I was gonna do, I was totally gonna do black and then I found the cutest bow and I was like hmm so with the cutest bow you can't necessarily uh, and it doesn't have it doesn't have any black in it so we're gonna paint our outside edges first this is a little bit, um, whatever color this is, it's, it's, it's a brownish, it's a brownish color. <laughs> I don't know what color it says, uh, but <laughs> you guys know I don't worry about that stuff. It's like, um, what is this? It's the color I wanted to pick up out of my container over here. Um, I'll look at it in a second though, seriously. <laughs> uh, so I usually always paint the outside edges first and I love, love, love these little sponge brushes. They make, let me move that over where you can see, they make painting, especially with chalk paint, super fast. And I just kind of smudge it on there then. And it really lets you be kind of rustic and everything and not just a plain flat color. So of course we're gonna outline this with something, but I think this will be a nice color with that brown. So let me lay this over here to dry. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Donna. I, the cutout options, I just think are really, really fun. And I do those for you guys, but I do them for me too. I, I love adding something else. It just gives it a little something, doesn't it? I mean, it, it's not a big deal but it just gives it a little extra oomph, I think. So, so we're gonna paint those edges, and you guys, like I said, it's just so fast to paint this with a foam brush, and then the chalk paint dries totally quickly. So, let's see. So I'm gonna be using kind of some muted colors, because uh, y'all know that's what I like, and they also have a really good tendency, like if you're going to sell to, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're going to sell to customers, to fitting in in everybody's home decor uh, a little better than if I just used a very bright, bold color that would only fit into a few people's decor. Um, so, okay, that is going to be quick, and I like this. And I'm not going to paint two coats on this. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually lets some of the wood grain come through, and I like that. So, this will also, when this one's finished, this will also be a kit in the Let's Create group. So, if you're not in that Let's Create group, uh, let me know. So, okay, let me see what color this was. This is Terra, oh, this is Teal Soil. So, we just, we just painted that a very earthy color. <laughs> apparently <laughs> tilled soil that is just a Martha Stewart um, vintage decor paint that I bought on clearance and I'm always buying paints on clearance uh, because then I can have a nice assortment and they don't cost me a fortune uh, let's see Kathy says what color do you use for background color for the turkey for the turkey hmm Stephanie 
and Haley. Um, who else has joined me? Deanne. I think I said hello. Um, Katie, you're going to have to tell me what turkey. That ground for the turkey did you use? You have to tell me what turkey. I'm lost. I'll probably go, oh, duh, but uh, at the moment I'm lost. Okay, let me scoot some of this over so y'all can make sure that y'all can see everything. I think you can kind of see over this, but it just doesn't look like you ought to be able to. So, of course, we always put a little bit of wax down it, especially if we're using a new transfer. So, that just protects our transfer a little bit. And, oh my goodness, these are from just some cute little, the little mini cutouts that we have. And there's like a set of 12. Uh, but, I think either one of these would be super cute either on the mason jar or the little breadboard. So that's what we're gonna do. The one I got from you. Oh, oh, I haven't done, let's see. I mostly use that one, Kathy, for, um, on ink, for fabric. And honestly, I've had to look, I don't remember. But I do know what transfer you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like totally blank. Um, so anyway, we're going to use these, one of these or both of these. We're going to try those out on our little, our little add-on pieces. Okay, let's do our transfer. Let's move this paint over. And so I am deviating just a tiny bit from this because I am going to add that. But y'all know I always add, always add stuff. Okay, so let's stick this little transfer down on this, on this little fuzzing cloth which is basically just a nice um, little towel. You can use any towel. This one's all pretty though, and it matches all our transfers. Or kind of matches, this one's actually a different color transfer. So it doesn't actually match all our transfers, but it, it did match. It's kind of our, our theme going on. So anyway, that just gets a little fuzz on the back of this and that keeps that from sticking super, super tight on there. And that's, we want it to stick tight, but we don't want it to not come off. So, hey, DJ, how are you, darling? You're my favorite, favorite girl. Okay, so let's do, ooh, you know what? I did not, ooh, let's do that real fast. Let's do our little outline edge because you guys, that makes such a difference in looks. And I'm going to use a little bit darker brown with this. Um, that way it will give it a little bit of contrast. So we're, I'm just sticking my, I don't know, I, sometimes I get away from you over there. I get over here looking at what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to just scrape most of this off. This might not have been the color. Well, that's what we're going to use. I don't know if it was the one I intended to use. What color is that? Truffle. It is. Look at there. <laughs> what a deal. <laughs> My kind of not, yeah, yeah, seriously, girl. So, just taking, getting a little bit of paint on this and dragging most of that back off is key. You don't want a bunch on here because you're, you're not painting this, you are highlighting. So, just running that brush around, and you guys, it is as easy as it looks, except I don't know what that was there, a gnat or something. So, the night I was here, and a mouse come running through. Okay, so I'm in a very old building, but I don't normally have any mice running through. So I got a little freaked out on that. I try not to, I think I just got a little paint on there, but we can touch it up. I try not to um, have any unexpected visitors. <laughs> I'm like, do they not know about COVID? I mean, really? So we're just lightly, lightly brushing because I just like that look. And we're gonna do just a little bit on the corners too. So this is why you don't want hardly any paint on there. You're gonna just drag this little foam brush around and let it have some edging. And if it was full of paint, it would not look like this at all. It would be painted instead of dry brushed. So you can tell I'm just laying this brush flat because there's not much paint on it. But I'm still not hardly touching it because I don't want it to be heavy. I just want to. But look how that changes, you guys. That totally changes the look of that. Oh, 
well, this is a good time for you, Dee Dee, if you're relaxing and got the kiddos to bed. You're a good little mama. So, I don't have any kiddos to put to get bed, thankfully, right now. Just my Abby, and she gets she's all mad by the time I get home, meet me at the gate, crying. For a German Shepherd, she is the biggest baby, I tell you. She, as soon as I pull up, she starts whining. I'm like, oh, you're pitiful. Okay, so I think we're gonna call that good for right there because we don't want to do too much. We can always come back and do some more. So, but doesn't that make a lot of difference? And that is all. Just you saw how much paint that was. Tiny, tiny bit of paint. So you do not want to get all crazy with the paint. So let me put this back up. But it totally changed that look and that's what I love. And that is gonna dry super fast and we'll um, sand it in just a little bit. So, okay, let me brush off some of, my, some of my stuff here, move some stuff around, stuff and more stuff. So now we're just gonna kind of fan this and put it on. I'm gonna turn this around so that I can see it. But, and this, I got a little dab of paint right here, but I don't even care because it kind of just adds a little extra character. So, hi, Aunt Jen. How are you tonight? So, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It makes it so much more fun to share ideas and what we're doing. And, and you guys, anybody that knows me at all knows this is like my life. I love it. And I can't even believe I get to do it. And when somebody just popped into my shop one day and told me about Chalk Couture, I was like, are you kidding me? Because I spent hours lettering. Hours. And so, uh, and it wasn't that I didn't like it, but when there's a better way, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to just press this on. We're going to work from the top down because this will dry in different parts. And that way it won't all get dry before... Um, we get it to the end so we'll work in pieces at a time okay I think I'm gonna go with this blue even though I want to go with a green I think the blue will be much prettier uh, so this is this is my game plan so I'm gonna start with you are the and of my is all gonna be black and then let me turn around where you can see it and then the word apple pie is going to be in this gorgeous little rosewood, which is one of our newest in vogue colors for fall and winter. So black for some of the top letters. And then the top of my pie is going to be camel. I think that looks like a good top of the pie. And this is going to be my pie plate, the colonial blue. So that's our palette. And then we'll do something different on the little pieces that we did and we'll decide what we're going to do on those because I don't know that yet. I haven't done this. So we're going to start with black because we're going to just work our way down. Let me move these over. <laughs> I've got a couple, I've got a couple good options going on up there for hanging it. So I'm excited. Okay. Let's get started. Let's do the black. We're going to do U, R, and V. You know, and I don't think I'm going to do this part I, for some reason, those little expressive things just drive me a little crazy. So we're going to take those off. And I just remember that, that they drive me a little crazy. So if you don't like something, you can tape it off or just not be messy. And they won't, you won't get paste on them. But I can't. So I'm going to tape them off. <laughs> so, so we're going to leave that part off. We don't want that part today. Okay, let's give our, our black is one of our chunky paste. We've got some paste that are chunky, some paste that are not chunky. I'm going to get some little squeegees out here that I can grab. Uh, and it is all in the consistency that they are produced in the components. So you'll see, some of these are going to be real chunky, some are going to be smooth, but they basically all work just fine. So just, just the way they are. So don't Never worry about that. Oh, thanks, Aunt Jen. I'm glad you're doing great. And I do love you coming to watch. It makes me happy when you guys come hang out with me. So, let's do you. We're going to just swipe it across there quick. Because 
we're also going to swipe across of and my. And we're going to peel this up and then lay it back down for the apple pie word. Or words. So let me pull off all that extra because more is not even better. You just need a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so let's peel that up. And the reason I'm peeling that up is because we want this to dry um, on our board, not in these silk screens. So if you haven't seen these, these have these amazing silk screens, which is why we get that. Look at the font, you guys. This is what I why I fell in love with Chalk Couture. It's those amazing fonts and how quick and easy and pretty it is. And I didn't even have to struggle. So, okay, so we're gonna let those dry for just one second. And that is all the black. So I'm going to, I do have a gnat chasing me. Well, at least it's not a mouse. <laughs> when he gets this time of year and they start, uh, the mice start trying to come visit me. And with this building being a little older, I can see that that happens. So I have to discourage them from showing up. Okay, so that has dried just for a second. And that's what I wanted it to do because I'm gonna lay this back down and I'm not gonna press down those parts. We're just gonna press down that the, the word apple and the word pie. So we're just gonna um, try to stay out of the black with my little sticky fingers here. But then we're gonna do this little color on the apple pie. And see this one was this one is super chunky, you guys, but it's almost it's like a gel or something, so it's really it just works so good. It's a neat neat product. So we're gonna just swipe across apple and pie and try to stay out of the lid, the top of the pie itself. Get just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna just swipe. I like to put on extra because it just works better and quicker. And then I can swipe all that extra back off and use it the next time. Okay, and you guys, I just realized I don't even have my glasses on, lordy. It's a wonder I haven't done something really screwy so far. Okay, so we're gonna peel that off too because we don't want this to dry. Ah, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. Every time I do a new transfer, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite transfer. But I love these fonts. And, ah, oh, so cute, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up for another second. And I'm not gonna hold this up and show you though because I don't want my transfer. I don't think it will fall off, but I haven't done my pie yet. So I need my pie to be in the right place. So, hi Mary. Okay, so we're gonna just let that lay down. We are not gonna uh, press it down. We're just again gonna press down just around what we're gonna do next. Try to make sure I don't have since those are silk screens, you want to kind of start at your center and go out so you don't have big air bubbles. So we're going to do camel for the top. This is one, this one is, a, oh, there's some squeegees. This one's a little creamier. See, the difference in the consistency is crazy, isn't it? So this one's going to be a little more challenging because um, y'all know how messy I am. Oops, glasses. This one, I need glasses. Okay. All right. So... And I do have kits in my DIY group. Um, so if you are interested in one that's all put together, or you can just get parts in there. You can get just the wood pieces, or I can also post and give you the link to wood pieces in there. So it's good to join that little, that little group. I can post things on this page, but everything has to be retail. So, you guys that hang out with me, I like to give you a little deal, so. Okay, there's the top of our pie. Oh my goodness. The details are just crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, we're gonna one more time lay that back down. And it, I did not know this little method for the longest. So it was, I just thought I could do some black and then I could hurry and do some more and, oh my goodness, this is so much simpler. Just peel it up, 
move it down, lay it back down lightly, and press down where you're going to do next. And you are so good to go. Let me put the lid on this because you do not want to let those dry out. Uh, hi, Lisa. Yeah, uh, we do uh, ship to uh, Canada. It's a little, a little, it can be a little expensive, girl. I don't know why. You may know that because, but I, I don't. But I have noticed that sometimes it's like crazy expensive. But um, in our Etsy shop, they uh, figure the prices together. So when we go, get on there and we make a um, an order, or you have an order, and we package it all together, and then we refund any overshipped any overship charge because they over they overcharge if it's more than one piece or more than two or three pieces, um, they'll just continue to add the same amount of shipping. Like if it's $7 for that one little item to ship, they're gonna charge $7 for every item. Well, what we do is we weigh it and then we put, um, uh, put it in one box and then we refund anything that's extra. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she says, yeah, it's expensive. That's exchange rate. Uh, <laughs> oh, Donna, yeah, yeah, that, 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 um, the paste is totally, and I've experienced this with, um, I'm going to do our blue down here on the bottom. I've experienced this with paint as well, and it is the pigments. Now, if you get something that's totally not usable, uh, you definitely don't want that. Uh, <laughs> but they will have different consistencies, and they will have different consistencies from the time you open them. So anytime you guys have any questions on paste or anything, feel free to message me. If you message me on my page, I get it quicker because on my personal page, whoops, I about forgot the most important part is to peel that little dude off. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's so cute. Uh, message me on here if you have questions because I get it quicker. On my personal page, it goes to messages that I don't know or something like that. <laughs> unseen or whatever so hmm. hi Sandra Sandra and okay oh my goodness <gasps> how cute is that you guys so much fun so much fun I love it and the colors those are my colors and I just think that is going to be so, so cute when it's all done. So since this one, this one, I mean, it just like perfectly fits the size of a board. Let me see what size this is. Because I know I tell you all this, but I do. I just cut random sizes. And thanks, Stephanie. And I don't, um, oh, Stephanie, the color of the red I missed a while ago. It is rosewood. It is one of the in vogue colors which is just uh, a colors that are available only certain times and they're not available like all the time. So this is about 16 by, I'm assuming about eight, it is. So it's about 16 by eight and it was like the perfect fit for this one. So don't forget if you haven't found, uh, if you don't know where, oh, thank you for sharing and sprinkling. I missed the peeling off part. I had to go play referee in the other room. Ah, <laughs> Deidre. <laughs> you missed the unveiling. Oh, my gosh. So, but here, here it is. All cute, girl. Um, let's see. Who was I answering? Uh, thanks, Stephanie. And <laughs> missed the unveiling, girl. Okay. So, oh, I was telling you the size. 16 by 8 is the size of this one. So, uh, if you are not in our little DIY group where I actually post these bundles to sell, just comment bundle and I will put the link underneath there. If I didn't, I may have put it in the top. I have no idea. Hey, Elaine and Loretta, how are y'all tonight? So, um, so now we're going to do the little extra stuff that you know I like. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, decision time. I'm really thinking, yeah, that I was afraid of this. I was afraid this was gonna be too long for that. 
So it would have to kind of go to the side. So let's look at our jar and see. Where did my jar go? Aha, uh -huh. because we can put this on wire and we can put this up taller. So you could totally put, leave this on, you know, leave this off or add this on. We're gonna go ahead and do it so that you can see um, the whole thing. And, and you guys know, I then I let it set and I decide if I'm done with it, if I'm gonna add something different or, or just what. So let me, let's use this truffle again. You know what, I bet there's enough brown on this brush to go around this dark. There you go, right across the top instead of on the edge. This is not a very dark contrast, so I might have to use a darker color on this. Um, this is actually pretty close to our tilled soil <laughs> than this truffle is. But we're going to go ahead and use it a little bit, like um, give it a little weathered look. But it, you can tell it just takes such a small amount. And if you use these nifty little foam brushes, girls, you can totally get this look without any work hardly at all. I'm going to go ahead and brush kind of all over this because I just want these to kind of mix together. And this is just from the paint that was on there. So I'm just kind of letting these kind of, kind of streak them on, but I'm kind of keeping the shape of the jar or trying to. So, uh, okay. Well, let's see. What can we add? <laughs> So creative oh thank you Donna you know I just love this you guys it is just so much fun uh, oh the trick was showing on how to peel it off when you're done with the section yeah so just peel up one little part like I did this color peeled it up did the next one peeled it up and just let it lay back down on top without really touching it okay so that needs to dry just one second let me see if I can try a heat gun without and I have no idea why I got Bumblebee over here um, without burning anything. These things are just a little too hot for me because I have a tendency to get everything I touch just a little bit done. <laughs> so let's go ahead and blow this just a little bit too so that, that this dries super fast. And then we can totally, if you want it to look a little more rustic, you can actually even sand over the paste. Uh, I've sanded over different ones, just depending on what look you want. This one has so much great detail in the lettering that um, it already looks like a weathered, weathered or rustic type look. Let me set that heat gun down there because, girls, it is hot. Teresa, I love your ideas. Oh, well, thank you. I love you guys coming on and hanging out with me. Now, sometimes I just come in here and sit down and work, and I, I'm not always live. But I want to, I want to share this product, though, because, dang, it's just so fun. Okay, so we have Fresh Baked Daily. Let me show you the transfer. This is just one from a little minis set, so it could totally be included with this little kit uh, or bundle. And then I also really like this Simple Living. I think it is also super cute. But I think for this one, the Bake Fresh Daily suits the pie. What do you think? So we're going to... Now, I was actually going to use this color, but you know, I think this needs something with a little more, a little more oomph. So let's just do some white. Give it just a little bit brighter uh, touch. Because we want this to stand out just a little bit more. I don't want it to all just blend too much. And browns, if you chalk on browns and blacks and colors like that, they will kind of like absorb some of your color. So you want to make sure that um, that you get it straight. And <laughs> that you use, you know, something that's a little bit lighter. So if I used a red or the blue that I used on here, which would be cute, but it wouldn't show so much. This brown is going to absorb a lot of that color. So remember, do not get your uh, lettering too high on anything because then it looks top heavy. It looks like, I don't know. It just, it's just one of those art rules that you don't do <laughs> with lettering. Okay, so one more little squeegee, and we're just going to swap this one all in white. And 
I think it's going to be just right. And take all that extra back off. So you guys don't forget, if you're not a designer and you want to know about that too, let me know because um, you can buy all your products at 40% off. And there are a few quota kind of things, but you don't have to like do a business business. You can do it for making gifts, peel that off, and however you want to make it yours. Oh, you guys, I think that's going to be adorable. Stinking adorable. So, uh, and don't forget on the share part, you guys, I'm, I, um, oh, and I have a, I have a name drawn. Let me find it here in a minute from this week's drawing. I forgot to do it Monday night and then Tuesday night, last night, I was, I was sanding, cutting out wood pieces and sanding. <laughs> so I didn't come on. So I did draw though, but I just forgot to do it, um, uh, Monday night for people who share. So. Hey, Linda. Let me find this little, pe little piece of paper. So don't forget if you share this week, it'll be for my drawing next week. Because uh, I accumulate through it. Okay. So this week's winner for sharing is... Let me hold it up here where you can see it. Because I wrote it on here so you wouldn't see it. It's Debbie. Debbie, thank you for sharing. And I appreciate that so, so much. And if you will um, send me a message on here, Debbie, then... Uh, can you see it okay on the thing? Yeah, you can see it on here. Debbie Prell. Now, if you uh, would message me on here, and I will comment on there. If you will message me, though, I'm going to give you the option. I'm going to give you the option of a ready-made piece or a bundle to do your own. So message me, and we'll see which way you would like to do that. So, okay. Back to the fun stuff. Well, that's kind of fun, too. I like to do that. I love to give away... Um, projects okay so I'm thinking that would be super cute up here somewhere with the made baked fresh daily but the thing about it if you totally like it like that just go with it but uh, I just like these little and I'm gonna have to watch so that is not so I'm gonna hoping I'm hoping you know I, I was just thinking I could just cut it off but it's kind of wood so you really can't just cut it off but you can kind of tilt it if you want to if you want to keep it so let's look and see what that looks like um oh good daddy you're still on here great all right good deal thanks ladies for sharing hi janice who else just joined us Thelma, thank y'all for hanging out with me today so we're going to decide if we want that on there or not and tonight you guys I, I was a little prepared the other night. I couldn't find any beads. I just like, I know I have beads. So, and forgive my painted hands. Um, but I love these little farmhouse beads. Or just, they're just wooden beads. I call them farmhouse beads. Um, but I love these because it just gives a little something else. But this one, this one is also super cute with just this. With just the jute. I really do like the look of that as well. And just looping it through and hanging it. So, always, always options. But I do love this too. But you know, let me see. This may be too much. Let me see if this is too much. Let me turn it around for a second here. Let's see, because I'm thinking now I'm going to have to go back to that rope, that jute rope. But sometimes it's, it can be too much. You don't want it to be like crazy. Yeah, I think that's too much because we've already got this big opening up here. So we will use that on something else. Let's use our jute tonight. I think that will be cute. And that's how I'm used to seeing these hanging anyway is with the jute. So let's put this one on. And like I can say, we this one, the little mason jar may be too um, tall. Oh, no, we can just hang it up here at the top. I think it will be. But you can totally, like, scoot it to the side. Okay, we're going to just tie a knot up here to start with, and then we'll tie another one. And this string is, like, three times too long, or four. So let's bring that down just a little bit and cut it off. So this one, I don't even know if you put a bow. I have a bow, uh, of course. Uh, all good southern girls. And... Let's see if I need to, I'm going to go ahead and tie that right there close to start with. Normally I just tie one 
I don't know what kind of knot it is. Just the little loopy knot. That's what I call it. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm going to try to tie this tight here. And then I'm going to tie this other. And I just loop around. So, like I said, I don't even know what that's called. I don't know. A knot. So, that way, hopefully, I can kick that over to the side. And I can always glue it. So, tell me what you think. Do we want this with the little mason jar or without? So, I don't know. And it may be okay just hanging down. Don't tell me. And it may not, you may not want the mason jar. I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided on this one. So, give me, give me some thoughts. Yes, mason jar, no mason jar. It could totally be either way. So... This one is so cute without it that I almost think the mason jar may be too much. Jenny says, I like it without. Yeah, I'm almost thinking it's too much. Oh, let's take it off. Let's take it off and see it without. With, it's cute, Lisa says. Okay, let's see it both ways because we've seen it with. And let's see it without. Because, you know what? I've got the cutest little bow over here. <sighs> and... It could go around the neck of this. So you can totally have options. You, you guys know. You can have an option. Whatever you want to do. Um, I love these little mason jars. I'll probably, when we do some kits, I'll probably still include that little cutout so you have that option. Um, so if you're interested. And I'll also post, I'll post a link to our, so this is not on the Etsy shop yet. And neither is yesterday. So it will get on there. So, okay, let's undo this one real fast. Sort of real fast. My little Emerson would go, oh, that's not so fast. Okay. Donna says a bow, and Jeanette, uh, Janice says she likes a bow. Let's try the bow, but I gotta get a drink. But I'll probably include it with it so you can totally decide. Okay. See, I think that would be cute too. Let me hold it up where you can see. You can totally. Let's see what you think of that one. So, Cindy says, yes, the mason jar. So some with, some without. Let me see if I can see. So honestly, it could totally be either way, couldn't it? You could totally have an option. So as I'm getting ready for these shows, I will probably do some with the mason jar and some without. If the mason jar would hang over here a little bit, but since this just fits, I can't really do the bow and the mason jar. So I'll have to do one or the other um, or make the mason jar smaller. But I totally like both. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I love when spell check answers our stuff and gives us other 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 words. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think we're done. And this one, like I said, I already put I already put the kit to this one and I I think I have I don't know, maybe uh, sold some today, so I, there may be, I may have transfers for enough for maybe three or four more kits of this one until I get some more transfers in. Um, and then this one, I think I have just enough to do a couple kits until I get more transfers in. So, anyway, I'm getting all ready for my shows, you guys. I'm so excited to have shows. I don't have to chat with you here with my little mask on, but of course I have my mask. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, if you use the jar, I would glue it. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, Donna. I think that would be a really good option for sure because then you could get it to stay where you wanted it to. You know, you really could. You know what? It could actually hang up here from the bow, you guys. How cute is that? Like a little present. Hmm. So, I'm looking at my iPad because I can't see from there. And... <laughs> Whenever I, uh, whenever I used to do portraits, I would have to stop and then come back and look at it. 
where I would take a picture and then I would look at it because then it makes your mind look at um, whatever you're doing as a whole. And so that's what I do with this. So after I leave tonight, I'll come back in the morning and I'll actually put it the rest of the way together and then decide if it's what I want. But, uh, but it's so crazy because as you're doing it, you're looking at everything as different things. And, um, but I kind of, I kind of like that just stuck in there. And so you could totally attach that in there with the, I just use pipe cleaners on my bows. Well, I kind of squished this though, but, um, yeah, you could glue it down or you could just kind of attach it to the side. I think either one would be super cute. But anyway, I'll take a picture. <laughs> I'll take a picture and, and look at it. Um, let's see. Kathy says, like it from the bow, the mason jar. Yeah, I kind of, it kind of just goes up there nicely, doesn't it? I, that's kind of my favorite with both of them together. So totally options, y'all. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing tonight. So I'm going to. Clean up. If you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. If you want to know more about being a designer or just getting a kit or uh, a transfer or just how to paint something, I'll answer all of that. Um, I love painting. So, you guys have a great night. I'm going to clean up and go home and see my Abby girl and um, probably see you again tomorrow night. What is this, Wednesday? Yeah, I'll probably see you again tomorrow night. So have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.